So it's my pleasure to introduce Enzo Redes, um, who is giving a talk on LLM pipelines, seamless integration on embedded devices. So over to you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, so I'm going to explain today how can we integrate LLMs on embedded devices. And this presentation has been made with the collaboration of Des Boivin, Baptiste Poutier, and Laurent Pilati, all from the voice and audio team at NXP. So what is LLM Pipelines? LLM Pipelines is a project of a whole LLM orchestration into an end-to-end -end solution. So we start with our wakeboard engine that will uh, detect our command such as hey NXP and will trigger the automatic speak recognition. Um, the ISR will translate the user speech into text and pass it to the large language model, which will provide an answer to its to the user query. Then we'll pass the text to the text to speech that will pronounce it to the user. Uh, during this presentation, we're going to focus on the LLM part um, of this pipeline. But don't worry, I'll try to keep it as practical as it can be. So uh, in the LLM part, we aim to support most deep learning frameworks, such as Hugging Face, Onyx, and the others, uh, to start with our foundation LLM. Uh, then to align with client's requirements, we're going to have to fine tune our model. And then we must quantize this model uh, for board porting enablement on NXP platforms. So talking about NXP platforms, at NXP, we have three different processor families, the MCX, the IMX30, and IMX series. Uh, for now, the LLM Pipelines project is only available on those three platforms of the IMX series for the 8M+, 9.3 and 9.5, but we're currently enabling and hoping to scale it down to the other families. Uh, you must note uh, uh, before asking questions that we're currently enabling AI acceleration feature, uh, but it means that the following results have been measured on CPU. So uh, what are the metrics we're going to use during this presentation? Our main metric is the similarity. In the case of fine tuning, we compare the cosine similarity between the embeddings of from one side the context given to our model and from the other for our model answer. This will help us measure the capacity of the model to use its context for its response. And in the quantization part, we compare the cosine similarity of the embeddings of the answer of a reference model and from the other side from a compared model answer. And this will help so measure the uh, capacity, uh, no, sorry, the loss uh, in the quality of the response after quantization. We will also use more classic metrics that are the time to first token and the number of tokens per second. So let's start with fine tuning. We have two fine tuning strategies. The first one is the low rank adaptation, LoRa or QLoRa. The idea is to add a few trainable parameters to the model and retrain them uh, on our specific use case. Uh, the goal of that is to refocus the model's vocabulary on our use case. Uh, for instance, if uh, on an automotive use case, if we ask what is the DIC, the foundation model will give the most likely answer, which is the drug information center, while we want our fine-tuned model to talk about the driver information center and that mostly what's uh, lower as four. Uh, our second fine tuning strategy is the retrieval augmented generation, RAG. Uh, the idea is to give uh, the model more context. So for that, we have to create a context database from use case documentation so that our model not only receives the user query, but also the best element of context to give a better answer. So still for an automotive use case, um, creating this new database uh, can be about our domain, but we can also add data about common knowledge. Uh, this will help us uh, detect whether or not if a question is within or outside at our domain. So if we ask, for example, what is the weather today? We're able to detect really quickly that the question is not um, inside uh, the domain we want to answer to. So we can bypass the LLM and give a predefined answer. So that's why the time to first token uh, 
is isn't in existence because we don't go through the LLM. That's a choice of implementation. We could have made many others. Um, but in the other case, if we ask a question that is within our domain, we can see the utility of using RAG because for a specific question, such as what is the contact number for assistance, without RAG, we get an hallucination, which is bad because it gives the user a wrong information, while using RAG, we can get the real value. This uh, has a cost because we have more uh, context token to pre-process, and we can see it on the time to first token. So that's the reason why we wanted to compare uh, the impact of the number of tokens in the prompt on the time to first token. So we did it on our three platforms. So here are the results. Uh, we get linear curves, uh, really encouraging, with uh, the better result for our latest platform, the AMX95. Uh, we also measured the number of tokens per second. So as you can see, it's between 2.6 and 5.1 tokens per second, which is good because it respects human reading and speaking speed. The second part of the LLM is quantization. So um, what is quantization? It's a model compression technique that converts parameter uh, weights from a high precision representation to a lower one. Uh, for now, we enable two quantization strategies, the dynamic quantization and static quantization. And uh, it's important to remind that it's a crucial step for LLM enablement. Uh, here are some reminders about quantization, but beyond the obvious, it's really important to note that we need quantization for uh, NPU acceleration with integral operation, while keeping in mind that we have to minimize the loss after quantization in the quality of the response. So still for an automotive use case, if we ask, can I play my music on the car? We compare the same model with two quantization techniques. So we have here our reference model without quantization in float 16. Here our model with dynamic quantization in int8, and here the static quantization with smooth quant in int8 too. So this is considered as our ground truth. So we get a similarity of one, and we can observe a slight loss uh, in the similarity after quantization. But if you take the time to read the complete answer, we still manage to have really correct results regarding to the question. But at the same time, we made a huge gain in inference speed. For the same question, we divided the time to first token by more than three. Uh, for that same reason, we wanted to compare the impact of the prompt size on the time to first token. We did the computation on the most performant platform. Uh, as you can see, here is the curve without quantization, and here are the two with quantization. So it made a huge positive impact on the time to first token but also on the number of tokens per second, because we can see that we multiply it by two after quantization. So if we gather all the pieces we talked about in this presentation, we get this final architecture uh, that allows us to do LLM seamless integration on embedded devices with the fine tuning part, the quantization and the usage um, uh, of the application. And today at NXP, we're proud to be able to port uh, 1 billion parameters LLMs, such as Tiny Lama, um, that runs real time on the embedded devices with various fine tuning and quantization features. Thanks for your attention. Thank you so much. Another excellent talk. Um, huge thanks to all of our partners. Um, wouldn't be possible without you. We have AI Zip, Arduino, ARM, Brainchip, Edge Impulse, which is where I work. Embed you are efficient, Greenwaves Technologies, Gravetti Inc., Hymax, Imagine Mob, Infineon, Inatera, Nota AI, NXP, PG, Corvo, Qualcomm, Renesas, Schneider Electric, Sensi ML, Sony, Silicon Labs, ST, Synaptics, Sentient, and TDK. These are our strategic partners. We also have executive strategic partners. Qualcomm AI Research for advancing AI research to make efficient AI ubiquitous. Sentient, who are accelerating your edge compute, making edge AI a reality. And our platinum strategic partners, Embed UR, Atrios, who deploy vision AI at the edge at scale with Sony. And our gold strategic partners, Arm, building the future of tiny ML. 
Edge Impulse, the leading development platform for Edge ML. Infineon, driving decarbonization and digitalization together. And Renesas, who are enabling the next generation of AI powered solutions that will revolutionize every industry sector. ST Microelectronics, who provide extensive solutions to make tiny machine learning easy. Synaptics, who are engineering exceptional experiences. And our silver strategic partners, AIZIP, Arduino, Brainchip, Efficient, Greenwaves, Gravetti, Hymax, Imagimob, Inatera, Nota AI, NXP, PNG, Schneider Electric, SenseML, Silicon Labs, and TDK. Thank you to all of you. And that's to wrap up our session here. Huge thanks to the audience and all of the presenters. We've had an amazing couple of days of insights and inspiration to go forward and build great things so thank you so much everybody again and um, i hope you enjoyed it